Summary of The Practice of Adaptive Leadership Tools and Tactics for Changing Your Organization and the World by Ronald Heifetz, Alexander Grasho, and Marty Linsky Written and narrated by Janky Mind Introduction The book, The Practice of Adaptive Leadership, illustrates how leaders can rally individuals to confront formidable challenges and not just survive but thrive in the face of demanding realities that necessitate new skills and responses. It presents a pragmatic framework for assessing situations, discerning between technical problems and adaptive challenges, and steering clear of common leadership pitfalls associated with an excessive reliance on authority. While change is an inevitable force, effectively leading through it is no easy task. How does one navigate the hurdles posed by conflicting perspectives and the ever-shifting balance? Enter Adaptive Leadership, a framework designed to mobilize people in confronting challenges head-on and flourishing amidst profound change. Rather than imposing a top-down solution to perceived issues, adaptive leaders involve individuals across an organization, fostering a culture of adaptability and openness to change. This audiobook offers guidance on problem diagnosis while encouraging a revaluation of ingrained habits that may impede progress. While it only scratches the surface of the multifaceted activities required for adaptive leadership, it serves as a compelling introduction to the principles underpinning this distinctive leadership approach. Adaptive approaches lay the foundation for resilient organizations where creativity and innovation thrive organically. Are you prepared to unlock the full potential of your team? Let's delve into how adaptive leadership can illuminate the path forward. Chapter 1. Unveiling the Organizational Tapestry In the dynamic landscape of our ever-evolving world, organizational adaptability emerges as a linchpin for sustained longevity and success. Central to this adaptability is a profound comprehension of the intricate systems that weave through an organization and shape its responses to change. The crux of the challenge lies in gaining a holistic perspective. To truly fathom the evolution of a system, one must step back, adopting a bird's-eye view that unveils interconnections and subtle shifts. Over time, organizations cultivate a status quo marked by deeply ingrained structures, cultural nuances, and habitual practices. Paradoxically, these elements, once catalysts for success, can transform into formidable barriers when confronted with the need for adaptability in new scenarios. Take, for instance, the role of incentives. They act as spotlights, illuminating specific behaviors within an organization that are either encouraged or discouraged. Similarly, unwritten cultural norms silently influence behavior delineating boundaries for what is deemed acceptable through shared stories, rituals, and established norms. For a leader or change agent, the ability to discern these entrenched patterns and reflexive reactions is paramount. These structural and cultural components jointly set the stage, defining the limitations and possibilities when confronted with adaptive challenges. By delving into the diagnosis of these systemic forces, one gains the strategic leverage to make adjustments. Recognizing the subtle currents of culture and habitual problem-solving approaches transforms them from potential obstacles into assets, fostering a culture of agility and innovation. In essence, to tap into an organization's adaptive potential, one must embark on a journey of understanding its inner workings. By immersing oneself in its systems, structures, and norms, the door opens to effectively unlock its full capacity for transformative change and sustained growth. Chapter 2. Unraveling the Adaptive Puzzle Navigating the landscape of organizational challenges requires a keen understanding of the nuanced difference between technical and adaptive problems. This comprehension not only serves as a compass in problem-solving, but also guides leadership efforts to the heart of where they are most urgently needed. At its essence, a technical problem is one that can be tackled using existing solutions and expertise, a bit like fixing a broken machine with a known set of tools. Leaders with authority often approach these issues using established methods and their wealth of expertise. Conversely, adaptive challenges are more intricate beasts. They demand shifts in values, 
beliefs, and behaviors, requiring not just external solutions but profound internal transformations. These challenges emerge when old methods prove inadequate, necessitating a revaluation and reimagining of strategies. It's a delicate dance of determining which traditions to preserve, which practices to relinquish, and where innovation is the imperative. Yet, leaders frequently stumble by treating adaptive challenges as if they were technical ones. This misstep becomes apparent when there's an excessive reliance on authority figures to instigate change or a recurring cycle of employing the same solution with no success. These issues transcend surface-level problems, delving deep into organizational culture, unspoken biases, and entrenched mindsets. To authentically address an adaptive challenge, one must peel back the layers. It entails not just listening to what is explicitly expressed, but attuning to the underlying emotions and dynamics at play. It involves identifying gaps between stated values and actual behaviors, and discerning the avoidance tactics that may be in play. In essence, while technical problems may be confronted head-on, adaptive challenges demand a deeper, more introspective approach. Recognizing and internalizing this distinction stands as a linchpin for impactful leadership and meaningful organizational progress. Chapter 3. Decoding the Organizational Chessboard In the intricate ballet of organizational dynamics, a profound comprehension of the roles and relationships among stakeholders is indispensable. The intricate web of their connections and motivations has the potential to shape the trajectory of any adaptive change. Let's delve into this terrain to unravel how stakeholders wield influence over the change process. Stakeholders aren't mere bystanders. They bring with them unique interests, aspirations, varying levels of involvement, and degrees of influence. Their responses to adaptive challenges are molded by a multitude of factors, ranging from core values and apprehensions of potential losses to undisclosed alliances. By mapping out the political landscape within an organization, one can decipher how each stakeholder might respond to change, particularly when they perceive potential losses. These losses may manifest tangibly, such as in resources, or intangibly, touching upon elements like status or comfort. Furthermore, external commitments of stakeholders can pose challenges to collaborative endeavors. Loyalties to groups or values beyond the immediate setting present additional hurdles. However, aligning change initiatives with their fundamental values can motivate stakeholders to rally their external communities in support. An often underestimated aspect is the alliances that stakeholders forge, especially those that transcend formal boundaries. Recognizing these alliances can be pivotal. They may either act as catalysts, propelling change forward, or as barriers, hindering progress. In essence, the realm of adaptive change is steeped in human dynamics, intricacies, and political undercurrents. Effective leadership requires an adept understanding and navigation of this intricate maze, ensuring stakeholders are united and committed. Such an approach, grounded in profound political insight, is the pulsating heart of adaptive leadership. Summary It's like orchestrating a symphony where each instrument, the systems, challenges, and stakeholders, plays a crucial role. The conductor, representing effective leadership, must have a keen understanding of each element's nuances and how they harmonize together. It's the interplay of these components that truly defines successful adaptive leadership. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.